Hello and welcome back. We're going to have a swift look at the old tank wagons we've got on the right of the picture there in a moment. But firstly, I've just been playing with these goods wagons. I'm just going to put them back in the sidings here. We've got the bright green industrial tank locomotive doing a great job through the points there. We'll bring to a gentle stop on the uncoupling ramp there and just separate the locomotive. And I think we'll leave her there. And we'll switch the points. And that 9F is just waiting to take the tank wagons off around the layout. Nice effortless start there. They are quite a heavy load. Some of these wagons have got the old sleeve wheels and open axle boxes, so there's quite a lot of friction. So not too much trouble for this great locomotive. Now, through the points and the diamond crossings, it always slows things down just a little. Nicely into the third radius curve. I don't think she's going to have any trouble with all those trash end tyres on the tender drive there. Look at that. Doesn't she sound great coming up there? So here we've got the old 1962 catalogue. The first year that this ICI bright red bogey tank wagon appeared. It remained available till 67 from what I've read. Some wonderful models on these two pages, aren't they? They just have a, a little look at those. Really wonderful items to sit and dream about, aren't they? So let's have a swift look at the old cover. Another one of Terence Cunha's fantastic images. I wonder how long it took him to knock one of those up. Be nice to have one of those on the wall, wouldn't it? So we'll pop that to one side. We'll have a look at the old 63 catalog. This is the, the year that the, the Murgatroyd's tank wagon showed up. Much smaller images on these pages. Still lovely, lovely models to look at. There we go, see if we can keep that one in focus. Now the old Murgatroyd's wagon was available between 63 and 69. Uh, another one of Mr. Cuneo's fantastic images there on the, on the front of this 63 catalog. Such a lovely thing. We'll just pop that to one side. So we'll just have a quick look at the wagon. So these uh, red bogey tank wagons I've got on the, on the layout here. I have the, the three of them as we've seen. ICI printed in white on, on the sides there. A lovely, great big star. We've got these metal stays and a, and a metal ladder, so separately fitted parts. I believe this part might even be a, a metal, metal part here and here as well. So we'll just have a swift look around the, the model there. Really very impressive looking things on the layout, either as a single item or as multiples. So the three variants I have of these have the old sleeved wheels and open axle boxes. I'm not sure if the red ones are available with, with pinpoint axles, maybe they are. So there we go, we've got the old open axle boxes. Great looking thing, isn't it? And then we've got Triang's name there and then built in Britain, wonderful, great big securing screw there. I think that might even be the, the same securing screw as, as used in the coaches. So lovely thing. We'll just pop that down and have a look at the old Murgatroyd's one. Again, same basic construction, same parts, but white tank, lovely black printing on it. Just have a look at that, it's excellent, isn't it? So this one does have the old plastic bogies on it and pinpoint axles, but uh, lovely things. So we'll just uh, pop that down, have a swift look at the old boxes. So they're all in Trying Railways boxes. So here's the old uh, Murgatroyds. The window's a little bit loose in that box. There's a, there's a little bit of damage on the boxes. That's the old catalogue number, 349. As I say, this was 63 to, to 69, this one. Just turn that around. The effects of tape there, and something has been torn away. Just have a swift look at the old Murgat the uh, ICI bo tank wagon boxes. So this one doesn't have a box, and the other two come in these boxes. They're, they're sort of much, much earlier style of box. Catalog number 247. Again, these are available 62 to 67. Lovely boxes. Again, no, no pricing present on, on any of these boxes, sadly. We'll just pop that down. There are a couple of other variants of the old tank wagon made using using these molds. Um, there's, a, there's a blue ICI tank wagon, from what I read was available between 68 and 69, originally destined for Canada, but I think ultimately ended up going to Australia. So it's, it's the same basic thing with a, with a blue tank. So quite a, a lovely thing really. The old number's in a slightly different position to the red one, it's slightly higher up the tank. Let's have a, have a look there. So 
So great things. So I'm never entirely sure whether these were should be used on the layout with the red ones, being that they were shipped to either Canada or Australia for for their markets. But uh, I think we'll 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 run run the, this as well when we when we get back to the layout. We'll pop that down. Uh, another variation I've got is the the Polysar. I believe this was available between um, 1970 and 73, and I think this one was primarily made for Canada, though, although it did appear in a, a set here in the UK, the, the set number of which I've currently forgotten. So again, same basic thing, but much more elaborate printing, isn't it? That blue really is quite something, isn't it? Again, the old pinpoint axles and plastic wheels really is a lovely thing. So this one, I think the old catalogue number is R3490, again, 1970 to 73. And this one possibly 68 to, to 69. So I think we'll, we'll get the, the whole bunch on the layout and see how they all look together. So I've put on the extra two wagons and here they come across the old suspension bridge nice and smoothly. And we are going to have to come off the power a bit to try and prevent them from gathering too much speed here. They really do look quite smart, don't they? They're quite a departure, these bogey tank wagons, I think. I'm quite used to seeing those little four-wheel four -wheel tank wagons that have been around for many years. They really do change the whole look of the, the toy train set here, don't they? That Polisar wagon is rather bright, isn't it? That, that really bright blue and very stark white. I don't know whether you've noticed that one, one of those Murgatroyds tank wagons is, is significantly yellower than the other. I'm not sure quite how that happens, whether it's light or exposure to cigarette smoke over the years, perhaps effortless into that third radius curve there. Really lovely train. I've been waiting to put this lot together for some time. No problem at all going up there. But we've got that old long wheel base guards van on the back there. Really excellent. Just have a swift look at the old brake van we've got on the layout today. And this is our 636. Came along in 1967 with this catalogue number. And I think this was a, a direct replacement R16, the brake van that had been around since the late 50s, and that they discontinued this R16 in 1967, I think. Still, both great looking models. Now, the catalogue number for this seems to have changed slightly over as the years went on. I'm not entirely sure of the exact years, but it seems to have become catalogue number R16A at some time between 67 and 1970. And then ultimately R16 again, if we look in the catalogues, but this, this one must be an earlyish one because it's it's got the, the earlier catalogue number on the box. Now by 1973, the catalogue number seems to have changed again slightly to RO16. See there, in the old Hornby Railways box, but she's gained the white roof as well. And I believe by 1976, they'd added silver seal wheels and changed the model number again to R218, I think it remained like that till 79. And then from what I've read, the model number seems to have changed to R729, but I'm not sure how long the model went on for into the 80s, but obviously a very popular model. There we go, back to the models running, and we'll leave those complicated model numbers and, and dates behind us now. Whilst I always try and give a feel for the, the dates and the uh, model numbers, and I read up on these things before the video and would do a recording quite confidently and then a week or two later you might read something else in a, in a slightly different book or a catalogue and you see a, a slight difference in the, the date or the uh, production model number but uh, I think you have to take these with a pinch of salt and really fine looking models just look at those those ladders look terrific don't they on the sides of those tanks lovely set of models now we're going to take the old 9F and the tanks through the the crossover here onto the inside line, so it's point number eight. Nice and well behaved there. The Polisar tank wagon is a, is a little lighter than the rest, and I did have a, a couple of derailments earlier in the day when I was filming this, which is quite well behaved now. I don't know whether she's just missing a weight or made from slightly lighter material. But that's about it for today. Thanks again for watching, it's hugely appreciated. If you look back again next time, we'll try and have something else interesting to look at. Goodbye now.